This is the Selenodon, and it is one of the very few types of venomous mammals. Now, there are actually only two types of Selenodons left, the Hispaniolan Selenodon and the Cuban Selenodon. And they are both found on a couple islands in the Caribbean, and unfortunately both species are at risk. Now, they are somewhat similar to shrews, and shrews are the closest relatives to Selenodons and are also another type of venomous mammal. However, they are still rather distantly related and are not the same thing. Now, Selenodons are very interesting for having that venomous saliva. The saliva contains these specific toxins called calocrines, and they basically just mess with the circulatory system. They cause things like hypotension or low blood pressure, as well as difficulty breathing, paralysis, and eventually death if in high enough doses. Now, they are, however, pretty harmless to humans. The toxins produced in their saliva aren't that potent and are mainly used in hunting and in immobilizing their prey, which includes things like mainly invertebrates such as insects or snails, as well as occasionally larger prey items such as small lizards or frogs, which again, they kind of paralyze and immobilize with their venom. However, as far as I'm aware, the venom is not medically significant to humans, so there really is not that much risk if you happen to get bit by a selenodon.